KKHT wants you to meet three of the classiest guys in real estate. I am Chris Kelso, the maestro of mortgage. I am Rob Cook, the godfather of real estate. And I am Joe Orsak, the king of credit swing. And together, we're the, the real, real estate, estate Rat Pack. Pack. Much like us, real estate right now is smoking hot. So whether it's buying, selling, or owning, you need to check out the Real Estate Rat Pack. They're here to take your calls and answer your questions live. Call now, one 800 808 548 and now the real estate rat pack yeah Woo. good morning good morning chris how are you this morning i am doing very well how are you doing rob we're missing joe orsack again again this you know he is out having a good time partying as usual out in new york city that is correct having a good time but he will be back next week and he will be ready to go with all of us and you know we have a great show coming up right now you know one of the things we tell everybody is we always bring on the best you know, we have in studio one of our guest hosts today. We actually have Renee Davy Oakham, a recent addition to Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Home Services, Anderson Properties. Anderson yes, Properties, that is great. Renee, how are you doing? Good, great. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. And, and you know, we also have a an individual who I use this between the breaks, an individual who has a plethora of information <laughs> and of data in the you home building business. On the air, didn't you? That is great. I just wanted to say that on the air. His name is Will Holder. Will, how are you doing today? Great. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day, isn't it? I know that you're jet-setting around the world, so you had to call in today, right? <laughs> I, actually, I'm in San Marcos, Texas, but uh, oh, glad to be on the show. Absolutely. Well, you know, Will, you know, we, we talk about this all the time. You know, Let everybody know a little bit. I know who you are, and I know who, what company you work for, but I'm going to let you do a better introduction than I can. Let us know a little bit about who you are and who you're with. Well, uh, Chris, I'm, I'm with uh, Trendmaker Homes. I just finished my 21st year, and I've uh, loved every minute of it. It's a great place to be, and uh, we it's just, uh, I'm also this year, Chris, by the way, teaching a class in uh, residential land development and home building at University of Houston at the, in the MBA program, so I'm, I'm teaching, and I'm uh, also uh, building. That is awesome. Well, you know, one of the things I was with a lot of your team yesterday over at Cross Creek Ranch at the Battle of the Builders that was going on with GHBA. Right, exactly. And, you know, and you're a big, you obviously are past president of GHBA, a lot of involvement there. Let us know a little bit what's going on with the building industry right now. How's everything going? Where do you see everything? What's been going on? What's new? Well, Chris, you know, for the last five years, the the city uh, has been gradually coming, you know, back and back and back. Actually, the number of homes we've been building has really grown. We're up to like maybe 28,000 homes will be built in Houston this year. But, uh, you know, the last couple of years have been very restricted and kind of the, you know, we know about the tight market, but there's just so few lots is what the problem has been the last few years. Now there's uh, 70,000 lots in some form of, of, uh, delivery and you know the Houston market we knew before where it was very supply rich and people had a lot to look at we're returning to that and uh, people are going to have see a lot of new and different types of products it's really a big uh, meta you know a, a new wave of homes coming on the market right now that's I'm very excited about uh, th- Rob here tell me what the trends are when people are coming and buying where do you see the new trends well it's uh, you know, we're doing uh, a lot of what we call casual dining, which is where, you know, the way the formal living room just faded away, well, the formal dining room is going basically to the same direction. And what we're doing is we're creating giant uh, islands that have breakfast bars all the way around them, you know, like L-shaped or half-circle shape, and then take the old breakfast room and just blow it out in size, move that footage from the front, formal living room that gets, you know, sort of ignored and you move it into the breakfast room. So you get a giant breakfast room. And so that giant breakfast room, your kitchen and your living room are all wide open to each other. And it's, uh, makes, it makes a home feel enormous in terms of sizes, but uh, the way it lives is really much, uh, serves the family a lot better. And that's a huge trend. Well, I've been a, I've been a fan of Trendmaker Homes for about thirty years, and I've actually you know, I collect floor plans, kind of as a as a as a, an aside. I think I'm a frustrated architect at heart, but you oh, all have always stayed on the on the leading edge of creative designs. Well, you know, I, I was, to me, a home is like a residential sculpture. It's it's a piece of art. We build it, we design it, we build it, and and I. I 
our people at Trimmaker do a great job. I mean, it's such a, a pleasure to work with these people for so many years. Uh, we've got people at Trimmaker. Bill McConnell's been with the company, I think, 32 years. We've got selling homes. I mean, it's fun. Uh, we People loving their homes is really the, what we're all about. And, you know, one of the things I tell everybody all the time, in fact, I was having a conversation yesterday. I am a Trendmaker homeowner, and, and I shout that with the very – top of the rooftop I can because one of the things in being a trend maker homeowner that I realized is as I was one of those fortunate individuals that went from zero to a finished product and beyond including all through their warranty in fact yesterday I was speaking with one of your 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 representatives in the warranty side and said you know it's absolutely was a pleasure not only to build through that process and to see all the different uh, technologies and more importantly uh, methods that you use in building and and how efficient the home was etc but also after you buy the home, once you close and when you have to go back and, and, and get a warranty call, how that process works, you all have really focused in on the client experience of home ownership. Beyond just what you guys do in building a beautiful product, it's about the experience of building that product and then living in the property afterwards. I'll tell you why we do it. It's because we've got such great competition in this city. I mean, uh, not only are we getting lots of new lots in the city, there are, there are so many... The builders that's coming out of this recession are just amazing. I mean, we've got when home buyers go out, home shoppers go out and look for uh, new homes. They're going to have enormous choices. There are new builders coming to Houston all the time. Sitterly Homes is out of San Antonio. They've recently moved to Houston. Toll Brothers National Company Luxury Home Builders moving to Houston. Uh, lots of old. Uh, established brands like Newmark Homes, David Weekly Homes. Uh, bottom line is, in Houston, the reason you see such beautiful homes is because uh, the competition is so uh, tight and tough that you have to do a great job to survive in this city. Trendmaker was established in 1971. To survive that long, you have to evolve your product, and, and it's uh, it's amazing how quickly things turn. I mean. In the last uh, five, seven years, we've evolved where we have almost 100% of our plans have two living suites on the first floor. That means a full mother-in-law suite. And that is another trend that it's now like, you're, you're, you know, that, there's so much demand for that. We used to always offer, you know, maybe we'd offer eight or nine plans and maybe one or two of them would have a downstairs suite. Now... You know, seven of eight will have a downstairs suite. I mean, it's almost a requisite of the home. And and that's interesting because what that's another reason that the dining room, the old formal dining room, because the, the, the size of the houses has not really changed. It's just rearranging the geometry of the house. So if you if you used to have, you know, a study and a and a living room and a formal living dining room and a breakfast room and then an informal living room, and those are a lot of rooms that people really frankly don't want. Now we're kind of getting down to one, you know, where you get this one living area, one dining area, it's big, it's open, and then that allows the builder to move that footage into an entire another mother-in-law suite downstairs with a full bath in a, in a you know, room, in a full-size closet so somebody can live there on that. And nobody wants to, you know, it's downstairs because that's where... Uh, you know that that parent that comes and stays with you might uh, want, and and lots of builders like I think uh, Lenar's got a program where it's a they're sealed off. I mean, you can actually create private quarters for a maybe uh, a son or a daughter that's living with you or an in law, and a very privacy suite. So there's a lot of interesting products out there, and also you know today everybody you can't we don't offer a house without like a three car garage. I mean that's that has definitely become a standard and three or more, frankly. So Well man uh, caves are important. <laughs> man caves are important and they're they're live and well. That's right, Chris. Hey Will, it's Renee the realtor. You know Hi Renee. Uh, hi, how are you doing? I am really good. Good. I really like what you're talking about. Um you know the two bedrooms down, the three car garage I can definitely vouch for that. Um, you know, the generation that we're in, we see a lot of family members living together, elderly parents. I wanted to ask you, what areas do you see? Obviously, we know the woodlands is hot, but what areas do you see progressing with your builds? Well, 
Renee, uh, there there really are two areas generally that are that are open and accessible that are going to explode over the next five, ten, fifteen years. And, uh, probably the quickest and the one that's happening right now is the 288 South Corridor. Okay. There are some fabulous communities down there that are. Some of them have started, some of them are finishing, but and, and some of them are about to start. Are you talking about uh, in the Pearland area, Will? Well, yeah, it's it's actually a, more along the, the 288. Pearland is a little off the 28, but inclusive of Pearland, but it's it's also south and more in line with 288. There's um, Pomona is a new community, uh, McGuire Homes. MHI, which, uh, they've been involved in that, and uh, Hillwood out of, uh, it's, you know, it's just a, there's some great communities down there. Down at 6, there's going to be another one, and 288. Um, and so that area has great schools, great accessibility to a lot of jobs in the medical center and downtown. It's a great situation. That area has got a lot of activity coming on. Then you go uh, probably what's going to be the most dramatic, is um, the new beltway between 290 and um, I-10. If you drive it now, and the, the, you know, the uh, Grand Parkway, it's amazing. It's a uh, complete prairie, and it's just going to have a compl- uh, total metamorphosis. It's going to be like the butterfly expands. And the projects that are going to be built out there by People like Newland Communities that did Cinco Ranch, uh, Ted Nelson and Alan Barr. Are yeah, planned are communities. Professionals, and they've got about 3,000 acres. They're going to turn it into the, some of the most spectacular, beautiful communities you can imagine. And so that whole corridor awesome. is going to explode along there. Bridgeland, which is uh, owned by the group that did the Woodlands, is going to be you know, an amazing, amazing uh, community. All these are happening now, uh, and it's going to be a big. The city is going to double supposedly by like nineteen uh, two thousand and twenty-five. So uh, I don't. I don't know. If that's <laughs> <a good thing. laughs> it's a good thing that te- it's a good thing that Texas is big. That's one thing. Yeah, yeah. it is. It and, is. And you know, and what Will was saying is true. If you go in, you know, they've opened up that new section. On the uh, Grand Parkway, and you and you drive between I-10 and 290, it pumps you right out there where the outlet malls are. And, and I was driving Perfect. this when it first came out. <laughs> and you know the one thing about development, the, and and we'll attest to this because obviously through Trendmaker Development as well, is what's the one thing that a developer needs in order to develop trend? It's infrastructure. That's and right. guess what? Now we have an infrastructure put in place. And, and Will's right. If you drive down there right now, it is to the right and to the left. Filled with open land, yes. which I imagine right now is all being sold up or or, 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 has, been or, or has been sold, right? But it's There's amazing to see farmers, that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of happy farmers. Happy retired <laughs> farmers. <laughs> right. That is correct. And so, you know, you, you look at that right now, you know, and, and you just see the growth on the west side. You look at what uh, you look at what's been happening with the energy corridor. Absolutely. I mean, you can't drive down I-10 without seeing about 50 cranes That's on either exactly side of the freeway. Right. Yeah, when well, you look at areas like Fulcher and stuff that have just exploded out in that area, at the Fallbrook and those type of areas, they're just expanding like crazy because there was a lot of farmland, and so now it's becoming homes. Oh, that's true. And you look at Fulcher. I mean, one of the things that Will was very involved with is the development of Cross Creek Ranch. That was an originally Which a, a trend maker development, a beautiful subdivision. That is that is correct. And so you know you you have to you go out to Fulcher now, and you drive by some of the things that are going on. And you oh. see all these developments. It's amazing. Yeah, I was in Richmond yesterday, amazing. and I could not believe the neighborhoods out in Richmond. Yeah, I used to ride my Harley out there. Now it's gotten to be too much traffic. <laughs> uh, Will, we're coming up against a break. Uh, tell hold, us. Yeah, go- well, but hold on, Will, because yeah. we're going to keep you around for another segment. So we're not going to let you go quite yet. We still have some more questions for you. But uh, let us know, by the way, for all those who are listening, who are always coming in, how can we reach Trendmaker, by the way? You there? A-E-R-H-O-M-E-S dot com. Perfect. Trendmakerhomes.com. We're going to take a break right now. Stay tuned, Will. Stay tuned, all of our listeners. We'll be right back. I won't dance. Don't ask me. I won't dance. Don't ask me. I won't dance. Madam, with you. 
My heart won't let my feet do things that they should do.